Now, the president of Angola, Joao Lourenco, has told DW that his country is facing an unprecedented opportunity for change after corruption allegations against the former president's daughter. Billionaire Isabel dos Santos is accused of stealing hundreds of millions in public funds while heading the state-run oil company in Angola. The allegations were published by a team of investigative journalists. Dos Santos insists that she's the target of a smear campaign. DW's Adrian Krish sat down with Angola's president and started by asking about rumors that Dos Santos is negotiating a deal to pay back part of the allegedly stolen money. This information is unfounded. We would like to make clear that there are no negotiations. And there will be no negotiations. There was an opportunity to do so. People who were involved in acts of corruption benefited from a six-month period of grace. To return assets, they took illegally out of the country. Those who haven't used that chance would now be responsible for any consequences that may result. Now, the documents that were leaked were quite clear. Do you want to see her behind bars? I would prefer not to answer that. It's a judicial matter, and I'm not a judge. Many of the documents indicate that some of the deals happened with the knowledge or sometimes on the orders of the former president. Uh, for example, presidential decrees to give uh, undervalued land to uh, Isabel's companies. Um, why don't you go after the former president? You must know our legislation. What do you mean by that? Former presidents are immune for at least five years after they finish their term. But would you consider going after him after that time? It's the justice system and not politicians that indicts people. It's the justice system that investigates possible crimes. The mission of politicians is to design policies ensuring that the justice system can be free and act within its competences. The president doesn't send people to court. I wouldn't even have time for that. There are many cases in the country. Opposition representatives are basically saying the justice system is not as independent as you are saying, that it is very well controlled by the government. What's your response to that? That may have been the case in the past, but not today. Today they have absolute liberty to act. That's the reason why there are so many trials, particularly related to corruption. Now, you served as a secretary general of the MPLA, as a defense minister as well. You knew the former president very well, worked under him for a very long time. Why didn't you bring all this criticism up during that time? It's true that I've worked under President José Eduardo dos Santos. We all did. He stayed in power for almost 40 years. No one can say he or she was not part of the system. We were all part of the system. But those who are in a better position to correct what is wrong and improve what is good are those who know the system from within. But then you must have seen that is a very corrupt system because this is what the documents now show us and that's what even your own investigations show. It is precisely because I've seen these high levels of corruption and because I think that the situation should not continue that we are fighting what we have seen for decades. It might be comfortable for us to leave things as they were before, but would that be correct? We've now got a chance for change, and this is the right time to do it. We know it demands a lot of courage, and we face some resistance. But we would rather fight that resistance than leave things as they were before.